Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this video. Today we're going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. This is my phone here. I have the iPhone 6S Plus. Kind of ancient. I know I'm waiting for the new one to come out this fall because I think that they're going to have it where you can use the Apple Pencil with it, which would be incredible. I really, really want that uh, to be able to use for editing videos and stuff. So I'm holding off and waiting for that uh, feature to hopefully be announced since they integrated it into all of the iPads now. I'm hoping that it's coming our way. But for now, <laughs> this is what we have and I will just show you guys all of the apps and things that I do on this bad boy. I do spend more time on it than I would like to admit, but um, I got some cool things to show you, I guess. So <laughs> let's just jump on in. So starting off, the lock screen is a picture that I took of my boyfriend Jaden about a year ago when I was taking a photography class, and I still am just so obsessed with how it turned out. It is my lock screen and my home screen, and I just can't get enough of it. I love it. <laughs> Then we have a couple of the basic apps on the very top here. We have the mail, photos, uh, settings, but one of my most commonly used apps is the notes app. You can see here I have a lot and a lot of notes on here. The top one is kind of my everyday to-do list, grocery list, planner, little notes that I want to remember, da 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 um, yeah, I kind of keep everything on here. It is kind of my alternative to using like a calendar or a planner. I've just always found that this is what works best for me and what I really like the most. And then I have a note for YouTube notes. I have all of my bills and my budgeting stuff all laid out on one. I have a list of things that I would really like to buy. I like to write them all down so I can kind of prioritize which one I want the most or which ones should come before others. Um, then I have a note for my blog to kind of plan out some ideas for that. I am working on quite a few posts right now so there should be some new stuff coming up there very soon. I have some notes for future YouTube videos that I'm going to be filming, some video ideas, I have some Minecraft notes, you know, my little goals list, my coordinates, <laughs> just gamer girl things, you know what I'm saying. And then we have the calendar app which is one that I don't even really use, but it's nice to be able to look at, and I like the um, the little icon that it says the date, so I always keep that on the home screen. Then the clock, I use that for alarms. Instagram, pretty self-explanatory. Um, love Instagram, you know. This is my profile. I'm going to be trying to step up my game very soon here. I'm going to be doing a YouTube video about um, Instagram and stuff coming up so look out for that um, but this is my profile if you guys want to chuck a follow and you'll see some more interesting stuff happening within the next couple weeks here and then we have YouTube obviously I literally am always watching YouTube oh yeah there we go I was watching Minecraft video <laughs> am I 12 years old sometimes I don't know but yeah I'm literally constantly watching YouTube videos like yeah just watch that um, okay, my screen recording keeps on stopping, so I hope that this is all making sense together. I'm going to try to piece this together as best as I can. Um, but the next app we have on the screen here is a little icon for my blog, uh, KelseyHazelKeller.com. I am, haven't been updating it a lot recently, to be honest. My main focus has been uh, YouTube, and then I was taking a lot of summer classes this summer and stuff, so it kind of got put on the back burner, but something that I want to bring up. Um, again and work on uh, further and then we have a little category called basics this is pretty basic so we have the Starbucks app like I have a lot of apps on here that I don't use super frequently but they're really nice to have when you do want to check something on them so the Starbucks app whenever I get a Starbucks gift card I put it on there and it's really easy to use like at school or wherever you just always have it on you and you know the maps app the wallet app the WestJet app that goes kind of along with my banking because I have a WestJet MasterCard and that tracks like all of my points and my WestJet dollars. Then we have my banking app, we have my Amazon, you know, always have a full cart on Amazon. What do we got in here now? We got, oh yeah, some stuff for an upcoming video idea. Any guesses? Uh, let me know. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, happens. But yeah, so 
use Amazon a lot, one of my most frequently used apps for sure. Um, the App Store, PayPal, I use that when I sell clothes on Depop, the money goes through PayPal and I can transfer it onto my banking. Um, so I use that there. Google Calendar, I have tried using that before, but I just still, I don't know, I really, really like my system on my notes, even though that's like, I don't know, not the most common probably, not the most effective maybe for most people, but I just really like it. Um, then we have the My Sestel app. I don't really know why I have that, but I can keep track of how much it'll cost when I want to get a new phone which like I'm much overdue like I said but it's just kind of handy to have for looking at things like that uh, then we have the flow app you can use for tracking your period or your um, ovulation cycle you know I, yeah just <laughs> girly things um, we have the health app I don't really use that but I don't think you can get rid of it um, Etsy I go on here occasionally I just bought some uh, Lightroom presets on here actually really recently um, so yeah I did that and I always like to save little things in my cart like linen pillowcases and duvet covers <laughs> there's lots of really nice stuff on Etsy so I like looking on there and then Depop this is where I sell some of my clothes I think I still have some items on here I just sold some today and shipped them out and I have some a couple other items on here um, my profile is just Kelsey H color the same as my Instagram if you want to check it out and then we have, you know, Skip the Dish, Uber Eats, if you're ever wanting that, yum yum. <laughs> and we have uh, Uber, which is like really new to my city. I haven't even used it yet, but I think it might come in handy someday. And then Sephora is just one of like those apps that I can't really get myself to get rid of because, again, it's like really handy sometimes just to be able to like get a quick refill or something like that. Um, Urban Outfitters, Cineplex, Zara, apps that I don't really use that often but when you like want to check something out it's super convenient and useful to have. Then we have the social folder here which you know has some pretty self-explanatory apps like Twitter, Facebook. I have the weather in here. I don't know why it's in here but it just is. The uh, podcast app. I use this quite frequently. Actually, I watch a lot of pod or listen to a lot of podcasts. I do watch a lot of podcasts on YouTube as well. Um, but the ones that I listen to are pretty basic. Your mom's house, approachable, what we said. You know, lots of podcasts that I like to check up with. Then we have the Twitch app. My boyfriend Jaden streams on Twitch, and I also follow a lot of other Twitch streamers. Um, but we can go here to uh, Jaden's. Twitch, follow him if you're not already. Um, his streams are really funny. And we're going to be streaming some Minecraft together soon, so check that out. Um, then we have TikTok. I enjoy TikTok too much, honestly. I've been on here creeping. I haven't posted any TikToks or anything like that, but... Like, it's hilarious. It's so dumb. But it's like a whole different culture. Like it's just pretty iconic, honestly. Oh crap, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, then we have the Pinterest app. And I like using Pinterest a lot just for like different inspiration on things. I have a lot of boards for like different styles um, or like different fashion inspiration. I have boards for uh, posing inspiration, for photography, a bunch of different kind of stuff. I don't know. It's like really nice to just like scroll through. It's kind of like the new Tumblr, I feel like. Tumblr kind of like used to fill this void for me, but now I'm onto Pinterest if, if you know what I'm saying. So then we have a uh, YouTube studio. That's where I can, you know, keep track of all my videos and edit things and stuff like that. Then we have, you know, Netflix. Love a good Netflix. <laughs> then we have Snapchat and I don't really use Snapchat at all. Um, but some of my family members still are on Snapchat and they'll send me like some really funny things. So I got to keep around for that. Then we have uh, DLive, which is very similar to Twitch, but the only person I follow on there is PewDiePie. Um, so yeah, I gotta have that for him. Then we have find my friends, find my iPhone, FaceTime, WhatsApp, and then uh, messenger, contacts, camera. And then we have the photo category. So I have Visco. This is like probably one of my most used editing apps. 
but I use this one a lot for lots of different things or like lots of different types of photos. I use them when I'm posting things on Depop. I'm using them for art class. I turned this one into like a nice black and white and was able to change around the contrast. I use it for Instagram, obviously, my blog, photography class, all that good stuff. It's a really nice app. Then we have the Unfold app. This is probably one of my all-time favorite apps for this kind of thing. Uh, I use this for editing uh, Instagram stories. You can use it for lots of things. They don't have to just be for Instagram stories, but that's kind of what it's designed for. I use this a lot for my YouTube videos. I use this for my blog, for lots of different things, honestly. You can um, upload like different little things and uh, post them on your Instagram, like in your feed. It looks really cute. I don't know, just like really fun stuff. And then we have the Unum app. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. Um, but this you can use to plan out your Instagram feed. If you know you want to get those like feed goals, you can. These are like all my posts already. And then like I have some kind of lined up here that you can like rearrange and be like, hmm, how do I want to post these for them to like all look cute together kind of thing. And you can put like all different kind of stuff. You can even like put like a blank one in here if you're like, hmm, I don't know. Um, but it's interesting to play around with. I definitely really like the look of like having a balanced feed. Mine has been lacking most recently, but it used to be something that I like really enjoyed if you can like kind of tell. Um, so I'm trying to get back into that because it's something I really like doing. Um, so yeah, it's really good for that. There is another app, uh, Planoly. It's like literally the exact same. I think I'm going to delete it. I just couldn't tell which one I liked better at first, but I think Anam is my favorite right now. And then, then another app is the Canon Camera Connect, which you can connect your camera to. Um, so this is like the camera that I'm using right now. I'm not going to connect it right now, but I could connect it and then hit like record or I could refocus the camera, all that kind of stuff off of my phone. It is nice, but, um, I still have to play around with the settings. I like when my phone would lock, it would end the recording and I wouldn't know. And it was just getting like a little bit buggy. So I'm not hundred percent sure how I feel about that yet, but it is, um, nice. I've seen a lot of people use it like on their iPads and stuff to be using it as like a second monitor kind of. Uh, so that's something I would like to do in the future, but yeah, cool app to have. You can also use that to, um, if you're taking photos on your camera, you can like send them to your phone through that, um, over like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So it's really nice for that too. And then Facetune, I don't remember the last time I used this, but it is really nice to be able to like smooth out backgrounds, you know, retexturize things. If you have something like a little pimple on your face, whatever, get rid of it. I really, really don't like the stigma of people like changing their entire bone structure with Facetune at all, um, but it is a really nice um, app if you have like a flyaway on your hair that's like taking away from the image. You can like quickly uh, buff it out without having to get too technical. And then we have the uh, PixArt app. I haven't used this yet, but I've seen a couple girls that I follow. What's her name? Maddie Bernard that I re have recently followed. She was talking about it uh, recently that she uses it to edit some of her photos. She used it to like edit this like photo booth style photo she said and where's the butterfly thing she does? Oh yeah and then she said she used it for like the butterflies and stuff so I kind of want to play around with it but I haven't been used it yet. Um, and then we have Lightroom, which I use that to edit, you know, like professional photos when I take photos for people. And then I also have been playing around with editing um, Instagram photos in that as well. I recently bought, like I said, some more presets from Etsy, which I've been playing around with. And I bought a couple presets from some Instagram girls that I follow. So I've just been playing around with that and like trying to find my own style. These are a couple Etsy ones that I purchased. Kind of interesting um, but yeah I've just been playing around with that lately and it's been really fun I just took some pictures for my um, cousin and his girlfriend that's actually yeah so this is I also have Dropbox in here because this is what I use to share photos with people when I do them um, you know take photos for other people so yeah I just took pictures for my cousin and his girlfriend and they turned out so cute and I used um, the new presets I got off of Etsy for them. I'm really happy with how they turned out. They're so cute. Let's see. But yeah, super happy with those. So yeah, I use Dropbox to be able to like send files to people and all that good, good stuff. 
And then over here we have three more folders. I have the home folder, which we use f at home for all of our kind of like smart devices. We have an Amazon, won't say her name because she's right over there. And then we have the Philips Hue lights that are connected to her. So um, we can ask her to turn the lights on and off and then um, change colors and stuff. But if you want to get like more specific with things, you can go into the actual app. You can see I have, I'm in the office right now and that's where all the lights are, are on. And I have um, a custom setting on the bottom here for filming, which is like a mix of cool and warm tone lights. So it's hopefully not too orange or too blue in here. Um, but you can change all different style of lighting, dim them, turn individual lights off, all that good stuff. Then we have uh, Smart Life. It logged me out recently and I just don't remember what my login is at this very moment. But you can connect this with plugs. So I have the plugs connected to the Amazon Alexa. What said her name? Alexa no. <laughs> okay. Um... So you can connect them to plugs and then connect them to her. So then I have some plugs and some lamps around the house so that I can tell her to turn them on and off, which is really nice. Or you can set uh, timers on them. I have like a kind of a nightlight on in the living room that I keep on in a couple hours during the night for like when I get up to go to the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. It's really nice for it not to be like pitch black or and you don't have to have like the lamp on all day or anything like that. It's just like super convenient to be able to set like little timers like that. And then we have the app for my Apple Watch. I'm not wearing it right now. I forget to wear it sometimes when I'm around the house. It's like the best for when you're out of the house or at school. It's my favorite thing in the world. Um, but sometimes when I'm just at home for the day, I forget to put it on. But I do love it and this is the um, app for that. You can now change your face, your settings, all that kind of good stuff. Then the activity one, I haven't been wearing this, it this week because I have been at home. Um, but it tracks, you know, your steps, your exercise by like your heart rate and um, how many hours in a day you are standing up. And then we have a little category for school. So I have the transit app for when I take the bus to school. I have the pay by phone app for when I drive to school and we can use this to plug the meters, the calculator. We have a Blackboard app, which is an app that my school uses to upload, you know, um, packages and stuff. Then we have a files app for um, any assignments and stuff that I'm working on. And then a games folder, you know, these are just for when you're stuck in a car for a really long time, you know, on a road trip, stuck in a quiet room where no one's chit-chatting and you gotta play a game with your boo. You got trivia crack. <laughs> I like to kick Jane's butt in trivia crack. And then we have Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft on mobile is literally like impossible. I don't know how anyone does it, but I have it there for desperate times. And then a Skippo, you know, another classic. And that's about all that I keep on my phone. Nothing too crazy. I like to have things organized. I recently just organized, I forgot to mention, um, all of these kind of by color and that is super pleasing to me. So I definitely recommend you do that if you haven't already. You can organize your little folders by kind and then in the folders organize things by color. Super nice to look at. But yeah, that's everything that I keep on my phone. I hope this video was interesting for you guys. Maybe you found some apps that you want to download. Or if you have any that you recommend to me, then leave them in the description box down below. And yeah, if you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Are you still there? To delete the message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?